neutral side action, and we're just about set to kick off. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. He just drills this one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Nice run, and he's brought down. From their own 30-yard line. Second down. And he's taken down at about the 27-yard line. The offense couldn't get those linemen blocked, and they'll lose yards. Well, here the defensive lineman did a great job at sealing up the hole at the line of scrimmage. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And they make the stop around the 37-yard line. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz. And the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. From their own 37-yard line, it's first down. Gets out to around the 45. And he carries the ball for a nice game. So he picked up a few on that run. Yeah, he did a nice job of using his blockers on that run. Really a nice read. From the 49 yard line, first down. Here's a run. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. Call it a gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. Right, right, right. Hey, check Down at the 39. Here's the eighth play of the series. out of bounds around the 33 yard line they're about four yards away here on second down makes the catch and he's got nowhere to go here's play number 10 on the drive He's got the corner. Makes it out to about the 20. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Fires out to his receiver. What a play to set him up for the first and goal. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. This is the 12th play of this drive. And the goal line defense digging in here. And he's in there. Touchdown. the extra point. It was a 12th play, 76-yard drive, and the result, seven points. 
They line up to kick this one away. And this one's a short kick. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Second and six coming up here. Ball in the 34. Strike to his receiver, no good. Such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. First and ten. Ball on the 47. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Complete. He's down. Great concentration to haul it in. Steps out of bounds at about the 33 yard line. From the 33 yard line, first down. but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. The score here in Houston is the Mavericks, seven. The Rangers, nothing. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Tenth play of the drive. scoop up a loose ball and then get your motor started. But he's able to do it and made that play look smooth for the touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Everyone 
Falcons all lined up and ready for the kickoff. From the five-yard line. He's taken down at the 26. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. Receiving team. That one will put the offense in a hole, and they'll try to get some of that back on this upcoming play. This offense has got to try to pull it all together now after the fumble cost them six points just moments ago. I know as a quarterback, it's always hard to watch the defense score a touchdown on you, but it was always a reminder to take extra care of the football. They line up at the 12. Second down. He's immediately tackled behind the line. That's a loss of about three. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Tackle at the 14. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. Tackle at the 47-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get again. Line. You know, as, as a running back, you've got to get up field north and south. At that time, he just seemed to wait and kind of delay his reaction and just got to be able to make a read, get up field as quickly as possible. In college football, and especially up in the NFL, the more you're dancing around waiting for a big play, the more time you're giving an athletic defense a chance to come and make a play in the backfield against you. And that's what happened. He gets rid of this one. Third down now. They need to get it down to the 37. They'll spread the field with five wide. Find his man and they take him down immediately. Well, we get a new quarterback in there. You have to wonder not only how will he do, but what does this do to the starter's psyche? Gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Brad, as good as this defense has looked, I'm not necessarily surprised by this shutout. I mean, you and I were there on Wednesday watching this team practice, and when this first-team defense goes against their own first-team offense in a practice, sometimes it's actually better than the game itself. So they've prepared themselves very well to have this kind of game. They'll bring him down around the 16-yard line. Those linebackers do a great job of stopping the run. But they need to be careful to play action pass. You can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air. From their own 16-yard line, it's second down. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. And he's 
taken down at the 41. The defense did a nice job shutting down the offense the last time they had the ball. Halfback screen, incomplete. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. That looked like the same play they just called. Yeah, it was. The defense was ready for it this time. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Kicks away, and it's wide right. No good. Well, you know the offense would like more than they did on their last possession. He's wrapped up for the sack. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Throws it deep. It's complete. And he's taken down at the 34. Excellent execution on one side of the ball that time. And it looks to me like the defense was in a little state of confusion. Let's see if they can pull themselves together. He's under pressure. And he's tackled right away. The offense timeout. We've got a first and 10. Ball in the 23. This one's going deep to the end zone. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. That could have been a big play. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. He's looking for six. Leaps picked off. Brad, I'm going to put that one on the quarterback. I think he's forcing the issue out there. I understand you're down a couple scores and you're trying to get back into the game, but you can't get it all back at once. You've got to be patient, take your time, and methodically work yourself back as a team back into this game. From their own 20-yard line, it's first down. Makes it out to about the 29. As they head to the locker rooms, this one is far from over. The score here in Houston is the Mavericks, 14, the Rangers, nothing. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. All week long when I would think about this game, I thought that we were going to have a nip and tuck affair from start to finish. Now you look up, the margin is a couple of possessions, a couple of scores. It's a great opportunity for this team to come out in the second half and put this thing away. Yeah, you knew it was going to be a close game, and you feel fortunate to be on the right side of making some big plays. And 
you don't necessarily know, Reese, if that's going to happen in the second half. So you've got to take advantage of this lead. Make sure that you don't squander. Make sure you don't make mistakes in the second half. But if you're looking at it right now, you're going, I'm pretty excited. I'm up two scores and everything's going in the right direction. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some astro turf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some else chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Short kick. He didn't get a hold of that one. Brought down at the 29. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he's hit immediately. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws them. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Quick pass at the 30. Brought down at the 20. Now it's first and 10 after the big pass play. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. And they make the stop around the 21-yard line. Anytime this guy touches the ball, he has the ability to go the entire length of the field with that speed. He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. And he's leveled at the 34-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. That'll be good enough to move the chains. Good running and a strong push to get into the second level of that defense. And they get nice yardage on that run. Call it a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. That makes it third and seven. It's a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. They've got ten guys up. They're coming after the kick. He 
He's tackled at the 26-yard line. Last drive ended with as good a result as you can hope for, and I'm sure they'd like to replicate that here. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure, try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. throw. He's tackled at the 50-yard line. Man, that is a great call and a big game, especially on an early down. That makes it first and ten. Throws it to the halfback on the screen, and he is drilled at the 48. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 48. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And he just gets rid of it. Trying to change the field position with his kick. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. the 35-yard line. It's 1st and 10. Ball on the 35-yard line. He makes his way to about the 45. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That'll make it second in inches. Double tight, double tight. And he hits him hard at the 44. From the 44-yard line, first down. made at the 35-yard line. Call it a gain of nine yards. That brings up second and nine. Complete. He's got room. Inside the 10. He's taken down at the five-yard line. And smell the end zone as they look to extend this lead. And it pays off. Touchdown. He made a great move to get into the end zone. There's a perfect play call. They look like they practiced that one a few times. And he adds the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. 
And this one's a short kick. He makes it to the 35-yard line. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. Just a middle lapse, but it's going to cost them five yards. Still first down. So we'll have first and 15 after the penalty. Quick throw, tackle at the 40. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. And this is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. The score here in Houston is the Mavericks, 21. The Rangers, seven. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. And they pick up the first down with a pass to the tight end. It's easy to forget about the tight end sometimes coming off the line. But you always have to watch this guy because he's certainly capable of making big plays. He's got it with room to run. They'll bring him down around the 41-yard line. From the 41-yard line, second down. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. That'll bring up third and six. And he's taken down at the 33 yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. Got an opening. Gains his way to the 23-yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. it out to maybe the 20-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. Good stop there by the freshman. you got to be careful with this offensive attack because one missed tackle could mean trouble. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 20. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Just under three to go in regulation. Deep pass to the end zone. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. He throws left. It's intercepted. So the turnover will once again give the ball back to this offense. That's two interceptions today by this defense. Their coach has to be happy that they're forcing turnovers. And now he's got room to run. He's to the 40. Across midfield. Inside the 30. The 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. And 
side. He hits the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. And they can forget about returning this one. Here's a step in the maturation of a young quarterback. How does he respond to throwing an interception on that last drive? So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Get to that quick one. Brought down at the 31-yard line. Nothing flashy at all. But now that first down marker is a lot closer. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Just over two minutes in the game. Throws it in a hurry. And they make the stop, the 37-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's hit and taken down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Got it. Tight ends got the first. That's a great tackle at the 46. Defensively in this five wide receiver set. Finds his man. First down. He's tackled at the 32 yard line. Fires to his tight end. Nothing doing. From the 32 yard line, it's second down. Looking for six, and he's all the way in for the touchdown. <laughs> Nicely designed play to the wide receiver, and it got him six. You said it, Brad, in a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. He splits the uprights with the extra point. it out to about the 37 yard line so their last drive resulted in six points do you think we'll see the same result on this one they ran the ball extremely well on their last drive and until this defense figures out how to stop it i think they'll have no problem moving the ball down the field gains his way to the 16 yard line first and 10 ball on the 16 we have less than a minute to go The 10. He's in for the touchdown. The ground attack is ice this game with that touchdown. And he converts the extra point. and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer. And that's exactly what we just saw. One team scores a touchdown, the other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. 
I'm sure that touchdown in their last possession has given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. They're about four yards away here on second down. Pulls it in and gets out of bounds. He's up to 300 yards passing. This young man really works at it, and it's always a boost to see that hard work reflected in the box score. He should be very pleased. And it's not too often you get a game like this from your quarterback, but it doesn't matter because these guys are still losing in the game. Steps up, and he's sacked. And he stops the clock with a spike. Third and 13 coming up. Ball on the 34. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. And he's immediately tackled. Three-yard loss there. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. Signals for a fair catch. What a game it's been for him running the ball, Kirk. Well, he is a great example for young running backs to follow. He is running north and south. He's not wasting any time dancing around or running east and west. Young backs, pay attention to this. Get upfield and get as many yards as you can. He's helped to put his team in a winning position, so let's see if he can keep that up or if the defense can contain him here. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. And so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, the Mavericks, 35, the Rangers, 14. The Rangers, 14. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.